Hi, I'm Kevin Borland. I'm a music producer, a guitarist, and a lawyer. I'm going to tell you about an ongoing culinary adventure I embarked on last summer, and I encourage you to join me. Not just by watching my videos, but try it in your city. My quest began Monday, July 25, 2016, when I set out to cycle through the world's 206 ethnic cuisines on my lunch breaks. I called it the No Repeat Nationality Workday Lunch Challenge. In the previous episodes, I sampled 154 ethnic cuisines, mostly in and around the Washington, D.C. metro area. In this 24th episode, I'm going to sample the cuisines of Guinea, Moldova, Paraguay, Oman, Abkhazia, Armenia, and Togo. Today I'm going to try mango ruffalari, which is spicy mango stew from Guinea. I've already done Guinea-Bissau, um, uh, this is uh, guinea Conakry. It's spicy. It's mango. Today I'm going to try food from Moldova, and uh, after this there will only be 50 more countries left. It's called uh, Mamalia, and it's a uh, corn based, uh, it's almost like a cross between polenta and uh, cornbread. And it's topped with sour cream, I tried to make it look like the picture on the internet. I like it. I approve. It's a staple, so I mean, you could put more interesting things on it or with it, you know, meats and things like that, cheeses, but it's good. Today I'm trying food from Paraguay, and I'm trying a picada, uh, which is like a plate of cured meats, the uh, appetizer or a snack or a papa I guess, and then I'm also going to try a uh, steak. Today I'm headed to the Halal Kebab House in Adams Morgan to try some vegetable pakora, which is commonly eaten in Oman. I bought the pakora on Sunday and brought it to work today. I just had to reheat it. They're good. Very different than falafel, even though they I think the batter is chickpea flour. And uh, nothing all like the split split pea or black pea uh, fritters either. Try some of the sauce, cilantro sauce. Nice snack. Tito Juan is making Amolesili Lobio, which is a walnut and bean stew from uh, Abkhazia. If you've never heard of Abkhazia, you're not alone. It's a tiny breakaway nation uh, near Georgia in the uh, Caucasus. dipping uh, cheese bread into the soup, which would be the local custom. This is good. 
I like it. I've never had anything that tastes like this before. Today I'm going to try some meatless meatballs. Uh, they're called Topic and they are from Armenia. Uh, these are stuffed with uh, raisins and, and pine nuts and they smell good. The, uh, the batter, if you want to call it that, is uh, chickpeas and potatoes. Uh, okay, and this, uh, let's give it a try. The, they're very flaky, they fall apart easily as you see. Um, but they taste good. Uh, a little oniony. I like the potato in there though. I mean, it makes the fact that the potato's in there it makes it a lot different than a uh, say a falafel. Also, these aren't baked or uh, or fried. They are actually boiled, which I think explains their uh, the ease at which they fall apart. Tatawan had to individually wrap them in cheesecloth to, to keep them uh, together while she was boiling them. Today I'm headed to Silver Spring. I'm going to try the national dish of Togo. It's called Yeye Basisi. Delicious. 161 down, 45 to go. I'm going to post new episodes every Thursday night on YouTube and on my Facebook fan page until I complete my journey. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I sample food from the Middle East, the Caribbean, and Africa. I also encourage you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page or both. If you do, you'll get to hear a lot of my music and keep tabs on some of the other interesting projects I'm working on. And also, sharing is caring. <laughs>